Greetings, gear nerds and guitar fanatics. What's up? It's Pete Thorne. Welcome to my studio. Hey, it's the Nunerber Neuron. Just an incredible sounding box that uh, you heard on all the guitar parts in that track at the beginning of the video. You can use this thing in so many different ways, it's almost hard to know where to start. But anyways, let's just talk about Nunerber for a minute. I would say at this point, one of the most innovative pedal companies in the world, for sure. First of all, audio quality of their pedals is always incredible, and always functionality is incredible. They usually sound like high-end rack units, but packed into something the size of a Phase 90. Uh, so I'm always blown away by their pedals, and I'm always excited to try the new ones. This thing, Neuron Gain Intelligence, it says on it, it's really a full-blown guitar preamp in a pedal that'll go all the way from clean through to, you know, just ripping distortion. And you can use this in so many different ways. Yes, you can use it like a regular overdrive box, but actually I didn't do that in my video at all. What I did was I ran it uh, in a few different ways into the effect return of my PT-15 tube amplifier, uh, and then I used the internal reactive load and uh, speaker simulation on the head. Uh, and that was for the rhythm guitar parts on the tracks at the beginning of the video. So this was the preamp and tone shaper, really, and then the amp was the back end. I also ran it direct. You can come right out of this thing straight into your recording interface, and this is your whole rig. It's got built-in speaker simulation, and it sounds pretty darn good that way as well. Um, and then another way I used it, and I thought it sounded really fantastic, was into my Matrix power amp, which is back here. So I ran my guitar right into this pedal, came out of here, into the power amp, and out into a guitar cabinet in my live room and mic'd it up. And man, it sounded good like that. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna detail all the different ways that I used it and break down all those parts from the song at the beginning of the video and uh, show you those tones outside of the mix. And I'm also gonna give you a few more playing examples so you can really hear what the thing does and turn the knobs. I'm gonna use my TC Ditto loop or play guitar loop through the pedal and turn the knobs. So I'm just gonna break down the controls for you real quick and then we'll get on to the sound examples. Uh, basically on five of the six knobs on this pedal, you got an alternative function that you can access by holding down the bypass switch, okay? So by holding that down uh, on these two knobs and these three on the bottom here, you can get to an alternative parameter that you can adjust. So let's talk about the main parameters first. The top three, gain, compression, and a level or output control. On the bottom three, you got lows, mids, and highs, basically three band EQ. On the top row, the alternative functions happen on these two controls, the left one and the center one. You've got a gate that you can access and also speaker simulator on off. On the bottom row, the alternative functions are tight, tilt, and presence. Okay, so the tight control basically is kind of like a uh, high pass filter. As you turn this and bring it up, it, the sound just tightens up and kind of takes the flub out of the sound to the point that you're happy, or maybe you want a little bit more fullness and that sort of thing for lower gain sounds. The tilt control kind of shifts the mid-range character, I think, and just makes it kind of work with different setups. Because like when you're running it into a guitar power amp or a solid state power amp or maybe direct, it kind of changes uh, the, the overall EQ of the pedal, just depending on what you're running it in. So you can adjust the tilt and that'll kind of make it work with a whole bunch of different things. And then the alternative function, last but not least on uh, the last control here is a presence control, just that allows you to add some sparkle. Okay, this thing will also store a whole bunch of presets. If you use MIDI program change, you can actually store a bunch of presets. I'm not sure exactly how many. I'm gonna have it flashing on the screen right now in this part of the video. I just stored one preset actually, and that was the sound that I used for the rhythm guitar parts in the song at the beginning of the video. And so that's really easy to do without anything else or whatever. You can have one preset stored in there that you can always access. And then when you turn off the preset, it goes to wherever you've got the, the controls set. All right, let's get on with some sound examples. I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of different ways that you can use this thing. Here we go.
first little lead part in the track at the beginning of the video, I'm actually using the Neuron running direct. So in other words, just guitar plug right into it, and then I'm going out of that into my UA interface. So I got a little bit of Echoplex plug-in happening, and here's the tone without the pedal on. So it's, it's literally just DI right now. And when I turn on the pedal, And that's basically the sound that I used for that first little lead part. Now, um, it's kind of cool because I, what I've kind of realized about this pedal is it's got a wide, wide gain range, and you can actually use it for some barely distorted, if not out and out clean sounds. So I've got the tight control dialed up pretty far right now, and with a little bit of compression and that echo on, um, I mean, it sounds really great. I could imagine hitting this sound with uh, some overdrive pedals and maybe using the Neuron as like a sort of clean amp sim and, and, and driving it with some drives. Rockers, it's the Nuneberg Neuron gain stage. This is a preamp in a pedal. You can run this right into the front of your amplifier. You can also run it into the effect loop of an amplifier. You can run it right into a, a power amp via tube or solid state. You can even use it direct and use the built-in speaker simulation for recording and playing live. It's a crazy cool pedal. Hey, we wouldn't expect anything less from the brilliant folks at Nuneberg. They're a great company and they always come up with great stuff. You can check it out further at the website that you see there on your screen and hey please hit subscribe if you haven't and uh, hit the little bell beside the subscribe you'll get an alert every time i put out a new video please hit the thumbs up if you dug the video share it far and wide i really appreciate it i'm pete thorne see you soon over now